joined now by the filmmaker Larry Marshall, uh, the award-winning filmmaker Larry Marshall. So welcome to the program. Thank you. Glad to be here. Uh, well, tell us a little bit about, uh, about your current film, uh, No Good Reason. No Good Reason. No Good Reason is uh, uh, a documentary of about two and a half days of a recording session uh, for a song. And this recording session took place in Boston. Um, it was a recording session produced by Natalie Merchant. And a um, uh, very interesting story in terms of how that particular recording session came to be. Um, it came to be as a project of an organization called Give Us Your Poor. That's an organization um, at, based at the University of Massachusetts, Boston, uh, in the College of uh, the McCormick Graduate School of, of Studies. And the purpose of the Give Us Your Poor organization was to, is to, and still is to, um, create awareness of homelessness in America and looking at it through a systems-based approach. In other words, um, bringing everybody to the table, um, agencies, people who work with the homeless and homeless people themselves, bringing them to the mm -hmm. table. The director of the organization tr has done various things over the years to, to help shine a light on ho homelessness through the organization. He also happened to be an old rock and roller. He used to be in a band. And uh, he came up with what seemed like a very, very crazy idea, and that was, why don't we see if we can release a CD, an audio, you know, a, uh, an album, a CD, uh, having recording artists that we all are relatively familiar with, collaborating with artists and musicians and songwriters who are homeless or who were recently homeless. And so, um, uh, again, when you're in that kind of situation, you try to think of so many things you can do, and this one seemed a little bit off the charts, not doable. But uh, he went ahead and pursued this idea. Again, the director of the organization, his name is John McGaugh, put out a call nationwide to uh, various uh, homeless agencies, uh, shelters, and basically said, is anyone in your city or at your shelter, anyone uh, who is a songwriter, who is a musician, uh, homeless or re relatively homeless, we have this idea that we want to do. So um, suddenly from all over the country, all kinds of demo tapes started coming back to the Give Us Your Poor office, again at University of Massachusetts, Boston. CDs, tapes, uh, people singing, songwriters, uh, sheets of paper, and a whole crew of volunteers started to sift through all this material. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the songs was a, a song written by a 15-year-old girl who was homeless when she wrote it. She had been homeless before, she was homeless again, and wrote the song of what her experience was like. Natalie Merchant, and I, I'm not quite sure of the process where Natalie Merchant, where she came into the picture, but she did come into the picture and said, you know, I, I kind of want to record this song. Uh, I'd like to record this song. And uh, she said, not only do I want to record this young woman's song, but I kind of like that guitarist who's in Washington State, and I like that other guitarist who their tape came from Oregon, and this singer from another part of Massachusetts, and uh, she decided to assemble a band of people who had never met, did not know each other, bring them all to Boston. They had this recording session of people who had never, some of who had never been in a studio before, and um, John Maga, the director, called me and said, hey, guess what, we're actually going to record a song and Natalie Merchant's going to do it, and I'm in Michigan, he's in Boston. And I said, well, why don't we, why don't we just videotape this? And uh, it didn't occur to John to do it. And, and I said, I, we don't know what will happen, but why don't we just videotape it? And uh, he agreed to do that, so myself and another person named Michael Mirendorf traveled to Boston uh, with our own gear. And uh, while Michael was covering the actual recording session in Studio A, I was in Studio B doing just hours and hours and hours of interviews. Anyway, by the, by the time this was all said and done, they had a song. I had a bunch of video that we had no plan to do anything with. And just over the course of time, I thought, well, why don't I take a look at this footage? Michael Mirendorf, the other uh, person who worked on it with me, wanted me to assemble some clips. Um, just to show somebody. He just wanted to kind of show somebody, hey, look what we did. And so I gave him some clips, and then I thought, well, gosh, if I put this clip ahead of that clip, that's kind of a cool sequence. And so I kind of found myself building a story. Nobody asked me to do it. Um, there was not a mandate to do it. There was nothing 
no reason to do it really, no good reason to do it, but I wound up doing it. And uh, that's kind of how the film was born, just uh, me assembling some clips, but then starting to fill the clips out and seeing if I can make a little story out of it. So that's how the film came to be. Okay. So what's, what's the uh, reaction been to it? The reaction to it has, was, was very positive and um, you know, I, I, I've, of course I've, I've been around the film now for quite some time and I'm, I'm so used to seeing it and everything else, but I'm finding that people are resonating with the message the way I did when I was first putting it together and thinking this is highly unusual. This is just a, a really interesting project having uh, celebrity recording artists paired with people who are not and, and creating this magic of music. Um, so the reaction um, was really positive and so we started thinking well how do we get, I mean if we like it maybe other people will like it, what do we do? Um, the, the initial reaction was just only people within the organization and the, you know, the volunteers that worked on it and you know, some, some related people like that. It was not a national thing by any stretch. Um, so we, we started thinking, well, what, what can we do with this? And so we put a version of, of it up on YouTube and it got some hits. We never tracked it, it was just there. Um, and then it's really not of a length that would be shown on television. It's not the kind of thing a theater would show. Um, it, it's, it's not cut to a perfect length that would fit in any kind of popular programming. And so I thought, well, there, there is no way to get people to really see this short of YouTube and you, you still don't know if anyone's seeing it. So I proposed to myself, really nobody else, that we start putting this out in film festivals. And so I started to do that. I discovered various film festivals that sounded like they might screen this kind of film. And uh, that's what I started to do. I just, again, financed it pretty much myself and just started throwing it out around the country at a variety of film festivals. So to date, it's been at 24 film festivals around the country, and there's a couple more we're still waiting to hear. Um, and I've been to a few of them, and I haven't been to all of them, again, because uh, this, it's something I'm paying for out of my own pocket. I can't afford to go to all of them. But the ones that I've been to, it's been very, very warmly received. And, uh, much as we thought when the when we first did it, people thinking this is just a an extraordinarily interesting project, and not to mention the fact that uh, uh, the cause that it's highlighting um, a CD actually came out of the entire project. Not only Natalie Merchant and Nicole Cooper song, but uh, you know, 15 other songs, and 85 percent of the proceeds of sales of that CD go to organizations for the homeless. So a lot of interesting stories related to the film, a lot of different offshoots, and uh, so people have responded pretty favorably to it. You've seen people who are homeless. But who are they, really? Maybe they're a young mother. Or a student. Or a veteran. Or a musician. Bruce Springsteen, Bonnie Ray, John Bon Jovi, Natalie Merchant, Pete Seeger, Jewel, Mario Frangoulis, Madeline Peyrou, Kev Mo, John Sebastian, on a new CD about homelessness in America. I'm Natalie Merchant. Please join us in being part of the solution. Give us your poor. Available now.